Now, U.S. President Barack Obama spending the day in Flint, Michigan. It's his first visit to the city since reports of lead contamination in the drinking water came to light. The, gri the crisis garnered national outcry and calls for accountability. On Wednesday, Obama met with state and federal officials. And we're taking a live look now here in Flint, Michigan, where we expect President Obama to speak with residents affected very soon. Obama had been criticized for not coming to Flint earlier this year when he visited nearby Detroit. But CCTV's Roy Ruttenberg did travel to the city during the height of the crisis and spoke with some of the people there. Flint, Michigan was once a booming industrial American city. Years ago, big automotive giants like General Motors and Chevrolet employed much of the town's population. They even built neighborhoods like this one to house workers lured to jobs in this part of northern Michigan. But in the 1990s, the factories began closing, taking the jobs with them. Investments soon disappeared, tax revenues dwindled, and over time, infrastructure crumbled. Michigan's governor eventually appointed an unelected emergency city manager, who two years ago decided to switch the source of Flint's water to a local river. The problem with the Flint River wasn't that the water was dirty. I mean, it was, but the bigger problem was that that dirty water wasn't being properly treated. In some cases, it wasn't even being treated at all. And as that corrosive water swept through the city's aging, lead-based pipeline infrastructure, some of that lead leached into the water and eventually made its way into Flint's homes. Including Heather Beaches. The water filter. I mean, it just had a fishy smell. It, um, it tasted like lake water. I mean, there was no, I don't even know what they did. Heather has five boys. As a mom, it's your job to keep them safe. But she now believes a number of her children became ill as a result of Flint's water. I spent a lot of time in the doctors. Um, things that we didn't really even realize were from the water. In young children, lead exposure at any level can lead to long-term cognitive disabilities. But because there are no early signs, without testing, lead is difficult to spot. Dr. Mona Hanna Atisha is a local pediatrician. She raised a red flag when she started noticing high levels of lead in the blood samples of children that she was already testing. So Michigan is a hand, this is what Michigan looks like, and we are surrounded by the Great Lakes. We are surrounded by the largest source of fresh water. Flint is right here, literally in the middle of the largest source of fresh water. And we couldn't guarantee a population access to safe drinking water. It was a failure of government at every single level. Rowie Ruttenberg, CCTV in Flint, Michigan.